Got to answer the question straight away. What was that? Leap of the Lotus 2024. Okay. I'm intrigued. You have me. What does that mean? That means... Oh, it's the 3rd of April. Oops. I completely forgot about this starting today. Um... 20 minutes ago, apparently. Uh, yeah, okay, I was not in that menu for 20 minutes that started this recording off, but I was busy doing something else, so happened to have it going. Oh no, I was not. But, I do love the image. More importantly, this sees the return. You can see what the ears used to look like. The lepus headgear, or whatever it was called. Used to look like this. Nothing special. There's the Easter colour palette, and the Spring Step Ephemera. But now, the ears look like this, and this year, it's a little bit better than it has ever been. This is the colour palette I use for my blue. People ask me and I say it, I'm never hidden it. The blue that I use is from the Easter colour palette, because it's a very pale blue. Uh, strangely enough, it's not as close to the blue as, as it used to be. Because it kind of looks more dirty white than anything else. But uh, yeah, it used to be more that colour blue. But they have, in fact, launched this. Which means that somewhere in here is... Oh, the old ones are still here. Okay, so somebody at Digital Extreme decided it would be a good idea to separate these two items. Boo. Spring Step Ephemera. Oh, hell yeah. Buy it every year. It's, it's 5,000 credits, though. That is that is not acceptable, in my opinion. It's supposed to be one. The holiday stuff has always been one. Lotus's Spring Basket bl Blitz. Sorry, I'm just going to have to insert this one in a weird place because I want to get this one out of the way before doing anything else. How to enter. Share a Warframe-themed... Easter basket on the official forums between April 3rd and April 10th and you have a chance of winning the headgear uh, and platinum and the Gauss Prime access thus confirming Protea Prime is not coming anytime soon ah, that, that kind of sucks that should if they had to put Protea on the front of this they would have a hell of a lot more entries because, you know, people are making Warframe-themed Easter baskets four days after Easter. Even beforehand, this would have made a lot more sense to be run before this started. And then, people who were actually making Easter baskets could have made Warframe-themed ones prior to now. So now you've got to go out and make new ones. This entire contest... Content does seem a little bit weird in my opinion. Go to attachments, go to auxiliary, and there it is, Lepus headgear. This is what it was supposed to be. This is what it has been for the past 10 years they've done this. I miss so badly the Easter egg crates. Shall we also skip the fact that Easter was last week? And they may have come to the market a tiny little bit late with this. Pretty sure Easter was Sunday. It's now Wednesday. Um, okay. Don't know why that didn't click in my head prior to this when they announced they're replacing this headgear with a new one. That, okay. Okay, you have me. That looks so much better. The normal ones just bunny ears. Nothing, nothing really special about them apart from the fact they're glitching onto the ceiling and coming out all bent. Because, you see, that's what they're supposed to look like for a split second every time I put them on. But then they go straight up and because this frame's levitating, they are glitching out and everything else. And the new one does look so much better. I mean, there's just no arguing with that one. That does look so, so much better. And, of course, this... Bring step ephemera because now with every step you take you will leave Easter eggs behind you, you know, on April the 3rd. I'm also really annoyed that aiming doesn't work to turn your character around. 
That used to actually do something. Now you're going to have to... Mm. Still, the detailing. I mean, I've said it since they said they were coming out with this new fur textures and all the rest of it. Yes, it looks amazing. It makes Kubros look so much better. Golden Kitty have no fur. Golden Kitty have scales. So <laughs> it's a feature I'm never, ever going to utilize or anything else because well I, if i'm using the cavats i'm using this one and it's golden kitty and golden kitty have no fur okay i have to take it back because if i'm going to be wearing the ears yeah okay texture actually does come in pretty useful i have spent ages looking for that i didn't know where that had gone uh, apparently it's out here but um okay I have been abandoned. Even though all the decorations are still here, somebody's missing. God damn, I love the lighting on this in this place at the minute. It does look so much better. But more importantly, the eggs, they're literally just an egg. That, I mean, come on, <laughs> it's not even colored. Yes, some of them are. They're not all the same. See, they are different colours. There's no textures to them or anything else. It's basically just, as you are running around, you're leaving eggs every time you step on the floor. And yes, it still suffers the same problem it has suffered for years. Two. 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 Even the despawning ones. Two. I wish it did what some of the other ephemeras did, where when you stop moving, it continues to sprout them. But it doesn't. You have to be moving for the eggs to actually appear. I really expected these bunny ears to be permanent. So you still buy them with credits, then the permanent, and they're also the other ones instead of the these ones. But they haven't. They've split them into two, so here comes glitchy ears. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. And... Yeah, uh, that's one hell of a nervous twitch you have there, Mesa. Not a problem, it solves that. It actually solved so many different problems. I'm just, I'm really kind of disappointed in Digital Extreme that they didn't replace the standard ones with these ones, and you had to buy them with platinum instead. And they weren't half price platinum or on sale or anything like that. Understandably. These are an item that will be permanently available from the marketplace. They're going nowhere. And if you do buy them, they will not be removed like they have been in the past. Like them, love them, hate them. Everybody's going to have their own different opinions to these. I'm just liking the fact that even at full sprint, they're not bending backwards like the other ones do. They actually do look like somebody finally spent the time and effort making these things work as they're supposed to. Now they just need to take the physics engine from these years and put it behind the other ones. And maybe just replace the other ones with these ones. It would have been the easier way to go. But with that, we'll leave this off here. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.